I'll make it all come true. Hey, it's me, Nook Skywalker here, back again with another brand new Call of Duty Mobile video. And today we have the most requested video on my channel. First impressions, top five assault rifles. So let's get into this. So you guys know as well as I do that pretty much the entire game changed with the season nine update. It was arguably the best update ever. And of course, everyone's favorite gun was either buffed or nerfed. And a lot of you guys are finding it hard to find a gun that you actually like. So I'm here to solve that problem for you. Without any further ado, make sure to subscribe so that we can reach 2 million before my country's population reaches it. And let's get into the first honorable mention. Now the first honorable mention actually goes to a burst weapon, the only burst weapon in fact for the assault rifle category. It's the M16, a very, very DSD weapon indeed. The M16 kills in as little as 150 milliseconds, making it the fastest killing assault rifle in the game. But the reason why that actually is, is because it doesn't take into fact the time in between bursts. That's why I didn't really want to put it on this list, but I feel like it's good enough to get that honorable mention. It's really, really good, especially using the right attachments. If you'd like to see top five best attachments, let me know by leaving a like on this video. If it hits 50,000, we'll make one. The M16 actually has the ability to one burst, however, if you hit all of your shots in the burst burst that you actually shoot. So it does have potential to be insanely good, just whether or not you can actually hit those shots. With its recoil buff and its fast time to kill, both close to medium range, I'm gonna have to give it a 30 out of 50 for versatility. But for effectiveness of prime, I'm gonna give it 50 out of 50, which leads it up to be astonishing 80 out of 100 on the Fergo meter. I feel like in my final video discussing the top five best assault rifles, it will make it onto the list, but I just don't know where to place it right now because I haven't been able to play with it enough since the new season's release. Anyway, let's get into the number five spot. So for the number five spot, we're going to be looking at the Man of War. You're probably thinking, Ferg, why is this on the list? Well, I was talking to the stats guy, aka Path.exe. If you don't know him, he's the whiz kid of COD Mobile. And he told me that the four shot range of the Man of War is 22. It's so ridiculous. It puts you at a 22.66% faster average time to kill than every other assault rifle in the category. However, close range, it's going to be 232 millisecond time to kill, which is still really, really quick. It's four shot time to kill is actually 348 milliseconds. Now keep in mind, the four shot range is pretty much incredible. The only time it really goes to five shot is if you're sniping across freaking crossfire or high rise with this weapon. So for effectiveness of prime, since it is in that medium range category and no other gun actually beats it in the assault rifle class, I'm going to give it a 50 50 out of 50. It's the best assault rifle for medium ranges. Its recoil is also really low now. It got a massive buff. And for versatility, it does kind of go down a little bit because its magazine is quite small. However, it is still a 37 out of 50, giving it a solid 87 out of 100 on the Fergometer. And that's why I think the Man of War is definitely deserving of that number five spot inside the top five assault rifles in the game. But like I said, this could change over the next two to three weeks. The second honorable mention of today is the AK-47. I know, you probably might have expected it to be in the top five. Well, to be honest, so did I. However, there's a gun on this list which is pretty much identical, just better than it. So we put it in as an honorable mention. It's still a great gun and I definitely suggest using it. So here is its time to kill. 221 seconds time to kill in close range. This puts it up there with some of the best assault rifles in the game. However, with recoil, it's kind of difficult to control off the start. It makes it a gun that only higher skilled players can effectively use. With that being said, its versatility is pretty nice, except for those really long ranges, which which is why I'd have to give it a 39 out of 50 for versatility. Then for effectiveness of prime, which is those obvious close range encounters, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a solid 46 out of 50, which means that it gets a solid 85 out of 100 on the Fergo meter. Respectable score. With that being said, let's move into the number four spot. 
So coming in at the number four spot on this list, we actually have a gun that is the slowest time to kill close range out of every single assault rifle on the list. However, with its non-existent recoil, it makes it a really good assault rifle for that medium to long range and is also great for people who don't like to have skill. That's why it's number four and not higher up the list, because I know you guys want the best weapons that may require a little bit more skill to use. However, it is the ICR. For effectiveness of Prime, which is those long range encounters, I really don't see a gun being as good as it because of its great recoil. So for that reason, I'm going to be giving it a solid 49 out of 50 for its effectiveness of Prime. For versatility, it gets out class close range. Let's be serious here. And because of that, close to close medium range being so bad, I'm only going to be giving it a 38 out of 50, which still gives it a solid score of 87 out of 100 on the Fergometer. Let's get into the next spot. So for our third honorable mention, it's the AK-117. I was actually going to put this in the top five at the number five spot. But I was testing around with other guns and they were just better than it, especially when it came to the recoil. Its buff made its time to kill as low as 235 MS, which is actually the same as the RUS, pretty much making it as effective close range as arguably one of the best submachine guns inside of the entire game. Its recoil can be a little jumpy though, making it kind of difficult to control full auto long ranges, but if you have the right attachments on, like I said, pretty much the majority of these guns can go down to very low recoil. For versatility, among the assault rifle class, I'd have to give it a solid 35 out of 50. For effectiveness of Prime, however, which would be those close range encounters, considering it's very fast to kill close range now, I would give it a solid 45 out of 50. And that's why I think the AK-117 is deserving of an honorable mention on this list, but just not on the list. Okay, so these three weapons are my favorite assault rifles in the game. My third favorite, it has to be the Type 25. With a solid 220 second MS time to kill, the Type 25 is one of the most insane close range assault rifles in the game. However, there are others that kind of outclass it just a little bit. Its fast fire rate actually keeps it on top though, because most of the other guns on this list that have those low MS and those fast time to kills are only like that because they're three shot weapons that fire super slow. The Type 25 can be a four shot weapon that fires incredibly quickly. It's a different dynamic to play with, and it's something I'm sure a lot of the people who are watching this video will appreciate if you miss a couple of shots here and there. So for effectiveness of Prime, I will still give it a 44 out of 50. For versatility, however, it does drop off at those longer ranges with its difficult to control recoil, so it's going to be a 43 out of 50, giving it a solid score of 87 on the Fergo meter. Pretty spicy. It's good, but not as good as the top two weapons on this list. One of which gun could be my favorite gun in the entire game. Coming into that number two spot, we're talking about none other than the ASM-10. It got a fire rate buff in the most recent update of the game, and with those easy to use iron sights, it is a force to be reckoned with. It's time to kill close range is 221 MS, which is identical to that of the AK-47. However, I like the ASM-10 better. The first four to five shots of the ASM-10 are pretty easy to control. So if you are an accurate shooter, it will be a very, very dangerous gun to be using, which is why for versatility, I'm going to be giving it a staggering 46 out of 50. Effectiveness of prime. You may be wondering, Ferg, what is that? The ASM-10. Ladies and gentlemen, it gets outclassed by two assault rifles close range, which I would argue is its best prime, one of which is the M16 and one of which is number one on this list. So for that reason, I'm going to give it a dual 46 score, 46 effectiveness of prime, 46 versatility, leading it to be 92 out of 100 on the Fergo meter. So for number one, ladies and gentlemen, I think a lot of people are going to be wondering where the KN44 is on this list. It's not here. So many other guns outclass it now with these new buffs. It's crazy to think the KN44 was the best gun last season, or arguably one of the best guns last season. But there's one on this list that's just better. It's as simple as that. We're talking about the DR Edge. With the quickest time to kill of 211 milliseconds, it makes it the fastest close range assault rifle in the entire game for fully autos. I love it. 
and for effectiveness of prime 49 out of 50 just behind that of the m16 for versatility i'm gonna give it a solid 46 out of 50 meaning that it gets a whopping 95 out of 100 on the fergo meter remember these are my first impressions and may not reflect my official list towards the middle of this season this Top five could change dramatically over the course of the next couple of weeks. So I will be making an updated list probably within two to three weeks from now with my final opinions on the top five assault rifles and top five guns inside of the game. So much has changed so fast. And I just want more time to test, but these are my first impressions. Either way, make sure to live your life with purpose. And without further ado, let's roll the outro. Bye.